What's up everybody, Jay here and welcome back to The Planet Tank and today I'm going to be giving you guys a update on my high tech 10 gallon desk aquarium so let's go check it out. So as you guys can see this tank has changed a whole bunch. Uh, I did have a bunch of Ludwigia back here and some other sword plants. I just had to take those out simply because with the CO2 running in there they were just getting way too big. Uh, the Ludwigia I ended up adding some to my 29 and my 20 gallon high and everything else has stayed here but uh, I decided to add my leftover hardscape material from the other 10 gallon that you guys saw a couple days ago and uh, I'm, I'm really I'm really enjoying this tank at the moment but uh, that's the reason why the tank looks a little well not a little but a lot different at the moment is just because the with the co2 the plants are just growing like crazy but as you can see there is no fish in this aquarium it's just snails and uh, red cherry shrimp that are just breeding ridiculous in here uh, there's at least a, a good few hundred of them of you <laughs> but uh, anyways I'm, I'm kind of doing a little experiment with this tank as you can see I'm not using the current USA satellite freshwater LED plus anymore I'm using a 20 inch uh, Phoenix Stingray with the blue LEDs taped up. I actually took it apart and slid out the little protective clear panel in there and used some black electrical tape to tape over the blue LEDs. Um, it gives it a lot warmer uh, color temperature, but I want to know if these crypts are going to get a lot taller or not. And as you can see, they're getting pretty tall. So that's what I'm hoping for. Um, really hoping that the ones in the other 10 gallon do the same thing, but everything else is doing flawless. The Amazon frog bit up here is getting chewed up by the snails and the red cherry shrimp. And I'm having a little issue with my red cherry shrimp. Hopefully one of you can help me out in the comment section. But for some reason, a lot of them have like this weird crack in their body. I'll try to put a, a picture on screen right now of what it looks like but it's like their body is literally just separating. I don't know if it's like a molting issue or if my water parameters aren't acceptable for them or something, but uh, let me know down in the comment section because I'm really curious to know what's wrong with them. I haven't noticed any, any die-offs or anything like that, but uh, it definitely doesn't look right or it doesn't look healthy either, so. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much all I got for this video. Oh, one more thing. At the end of this month, this tank might be replaced with a rimless tank. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you never miss an upload. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, share it with your buddies. And as always, keep it planted.